Well, we have a pet on our set. It is Friday, and Terry Acox with the Midland Humane Coalition is in our studio joining us again for another furry friend <laughs> extravaganza. Love. Yeah. This we have a Grandma senior Mabel. citizen in our studio <laughs> and today. She is so, so, so sweet. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Yeah. Sure. Mabel is about eight years old. She's a Chihuahua mix. She had an elderly owner, and she there were two other dogs in the house, mm -hmm. Marge and another who sadly passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, Mabel's owners were not able to care for her. They're ill now. They're in hospice care. So that happens quite often, and then we have to find a new home for these little pups and right. cats. Yeah, so we're really hoping that Mabel and her sister, not really sister biologically, but, right. you know, by... Uh, Marriage them together, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That yeah, we can partners. keep them together, yeah. And Marge has a missing eye. Aww. Mabel has some missing teeth. They're both senior ladies, so they will need, you know, a home that can accommodate that, and they'll probably need more vet visits and things like that. So, hmm. but they're sweet and they're cuddly, and so someone maybe without small children. Right. Yeah. D uh, we always say that if they're very small, we kind of want to keep keep it to a home. Kids 12 and up. So same case in Mabel and Mars, Marge's case. And she's an older dog, as you said, so she qualifies for the senior discount. That's right. I see the white little whiskers yeah. on her face. But uh, she's also really calm, so it doesn't seem like she would be a dog that would tug the owner. She's right. pretty small, so if you're someone that wants a dog who's more cuddly and a little easygoing, Mabel seems like she's the perfect companion. And there's Definitely. Marge right there, yes. too, on the screen. Yeah. We had to point that out with the missing eye, but they're so sweet. Yeah, what is Marge just, like, too? They both just have the best temperament and they get along really well with each other and already used to being in a home used to people so the transition should be super easy you know once they find that perfect home and they're both just cute lap dogs super sweet girls so she's a character too yeah. i love the hoodie but also her little tongue is sticking out <laughs> it's a gift whenever that happens it only lasts for a couple of moments but <laughs> yeah. she's kind of been like this the whole time yes and she loves to give kisses oh she gave me some outside uh, yeah. earlier but she, she, it's almost like she's never met a stranger, yeah. though, because she was really open friendly. to, yeah, talk to us. Definitely. And they, they both just love people. Like I said, they're totally used to being in a home. You know, they're, they weren't strays before. So this should be a super easy transition to a new home, maybe a few days or a few weeks of just kind of settling in. But for the most part, they're already vetted, ready to go, up to date on shots, both spayed you know, all that good stuff. That's a so. really uh, good fact that you brought up, too, because a lot of animals, I think we're used to hearing animals found on the side of the road and, right. you know, abandoned animals, but this pet had a home, and mm -hmm. so she's very accustomed to being around people, but right. so it's the holiday season. Do you have a lot of events going on to support the Midland Humane Coalition? We don't have a lot of events through the rest of the year, but we do have plenty of opportunity to donate and to do it in fun ways while mm -hmm. you're doing your Christmas shopping. So if you're shopping locally, you can go to Susie's South 40, and she has her own little product that she developed that's going to help Midland Humane Coalition. It's called Barkley's Air. And but they're treats for humans. Human yes, yeah. human treats, benefiting pups and cats. Uh, and there's a new way to donate this week, and that's through Grounds and Hounds Coffee. Oh. You can go to their website, groundsandhounds.com, if you're a coffee fan, if you like gourmet coffee. Mm -hmm. Instead of Starbucks, skip that. You know, check out this uh, new company because they're also helping us with the discount code Midland Humane 15. Awesome. And is Smile still working on Amazon, too, for that? Yes, and that's nice. year-round. You know, anytime you're shopping on Amazon, you can set it up really easily. One time, just go to smile.amazon.com and choose Midland Humane Coalition as your preferred charity. And then anytime you shop, we get a portion of that. And that's, that's really incredible. easy to remember as well. Smile.amazon.com. If Definitely. you're doing any last-minute Christmas shopping and getting that rushed overnight yeah. or two-day <laughs> delivery, give back if you're looking for an organization to pour into this holiday season. Definitely. I know. I'm in love with Mabel. I think I know, she is the sweetest. We can't thank you enough for coming on air and sharing the love of these <laughs> furry creatures. Oh, no. I it's know. always the I highlight still, of our Friday. I still love my Buffy, so yeah. she's incredible. Yeah. So I know you'll fall in love with an animal there. But stay tuned, though. We will be back. Tara, thank you so much for being here. But let's take a look at our weather forecast, Derek. Now, your weather right now.